Hello folks, so yeah, welcome to another EOD vlog, every other day vlog. It's quite fun doing these actually. And today is quite a tough day for me because I am incredibly, incredibly hungover. I'm barely focused now and this light isn't doing me any favours. I sort of feel very, uh, very holy being under this light. Today, um, I went to go and check out this really cool gym, oh my god, I'm dazzled, called Third Space. It was great fun, had a check out there. Um, had a bit of a walk around, had a quick workout, a spin class, and then did some swimming. My God, my swimming needs a lot of work. I've got no technique whatsoever. But it is good fun, it's good on the old joints, it's good to exercise the, uh, you know, the muscles that you don't normally exercise. Today, yeah, that's right, I was gonna talk about Mo Salah, and how Mo Salah and Liverpool in general are smashing it at the moment. I mean, it's just that they've had like a late bloom in their season, haven't they, you know, from sort of February onwards, since they bought Van Dijk basically, so the January transfer window. Um, and I put out on Twitter the other day and um, I, I, I sort of was half joking, but I kind of think I'm actually serious about it now. Mo Salah is better than Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. And those two are the, you know, they're, they're always the front runners for the Ballon d'Or every year, the World Football Player of the Year every year. In a team that's arguably not as good, I don't think they're as, as good as Real or Barcelona or Liverpool, but in a team that's not as good, he is destroying it. He's the one who is essentially spearheading this Liverpool team towards Champion League glory at the moment. I think Salah has been an absolute revelation for them. And the Premier League, in my opinion, is a lot more competitive and a lot more difficult to win matches in than La Liga. I think the Premier League is the toughest league um, in, in global competition. Salah has single-handedly, in my opinion, raised Liverpool's game to a point where they are now potentially going to be Champions League winners. I really hope that they do do it and I really hope that Salah goes on to absolutely put his stamp on this tournament and become a, the global icon that he, you know, that he is essentially. He's young still, he's a lot younger than Ronaldo and Messi, even though he looks a bit older than them, he's, he is younger than them and I think that the world is his oyster now. I think what we're seeing now is the start of um, the next big world stage football who's going to hopefully dominate um, for years to come. 42 goals in total now and counting um, for this season. I think that is incredible. I, I think he could go on to get 50 this year, which would be just remarkable. And he's played a lot of games too. He was my first pick in Fantasy Football Premier League. And he was I, I had faith in him because I remember reading an article about how he was really hungry to come back to the Premier League and do well after it didn't quite work out for him at Chelsea. So I think that, you know, I, I saw that inspiration, I saw how he was talking about, you know, making that mark on the Premier League um, on his return to it. And he's proved himself correct and he's proved, you know, a lot of you know, journalists and a lot of pundits correct too because I think a lot of people tipped him to be very good at Liverpool and not only has he been very good, he's been insane, he's been absolutely amazing. I just wish, as an Arsenal fan, we had a player that was that talismanic. We did for a while with players like Henri Van Persie and what have you. Yeah, Liverpool, I just feel, I'm, I've got Liverpool envy at the moment. I'm very jealous of all Liverpool fans out there who are literally riding this wave. And as well at the PFA Awards, him and Jordan Henderson, they made a beeline for a young disabled fan who was really, really um, excited to meet them. And they went and had selfies, they went and had photos, they did video with him, made his night. So the guy not only is a is he an icon of a player, but he's also a, a proper role model. Egyptian player, hopefully we'll see him light up the World Cup this year. And I think he deserves to get the next Ballon d'Or award ahead of Ronaldo and Messi. I hope he, I really hope he does. The guy is, insane. So yeah, this has been another EOD vlog. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I will be much perkier and more lively next time. Until then, I will see you again very soon. I am off to get some junk food in and have an early night. Take care. See you later. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, blah, 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 blah. Um, laters. <laughs>